Hello, welcome viewers. Today on World Hypertension Day, I will be speaking or rather helping you to understand what is high blood pressure and how to prevent it. We all like to would like to have healthy or normal blood pressure, but what exactly does it mean? Each time the heart pumps, blood flows into the blood vessels and this creates a pressure against the wall of the arteries and that is recorded as our blood pressure. This blood pressure basically has two components. One is the systolic blood pressure or the upper blood pressure and the diastolic blood pressure or the lower blood pressure. The systolic blood pressure is actually recorded when the heart contracts and pumps blood into the circulation and the diastolic is recorded when the heart relaxes. Normally in the healthy person, the blood pressure rises and falls throughout the day but when the blood pressure remains high for a long period of time and is left untreated, it causes a lot of complications affecting the heart, the brain, the kidneys and our eyes as well. So we need to keep our blood pressure under control. And this high blood pressure develops over a period of time because of our unhealthy lifestyle. For example, not doing enough physical activities, being obese, smoking, high alcohol intake, improper diet and also stress are the factors which add to increase in the BP. Besides these, age is one other factor where because of the aging process, the arteries become stiffer because of fat deposition as we grow older and that leads to greater resistance to the flow of blood and high blood pressure. Similarly, many of you have most, in fact, most of the families have somebody in the house who is hypertensive. If your own father, mother is having high blood pressure, then genetically you are prone to develop hypertension as well. Excessive salt intake is another factor which adds to increase incidence of high BP. Besides this, eating processed and fatty foods throughout the results in fat deposition throughout the body, increasing the body weight and obesity which is another aspect leading to high blood pressure. Stress is also very important because the more today's lifestyle is very stressful for all of us and that contributes to increase in our blood pressure as well. Moving on, hypertension per se does not have any specific signs and symptoms on, of its own and that's why it's often been termed as a silent killer and it affects the various organs and damages the various organs in due process of time. Hence, early and accurate diagnosis is very important in the management of hypertension and measuring the blood pressure is one way of knowing whether you have high blood pressure or not. Generally, when symptoms do occur, they include morning headaches, vision changes, blurring, buzzing sounds in the ear, fatigue, which may be very, sometimes the patient just complain that I'm feeling very tired and not able to do my normal activities. Sometimes they have some amount of nausea, vomiting. So friends, if any of you have any of these symptoms, do get your blood pressure checked today itself. Fortunately, high blood pressure can be diagnosed very easily. All you need is a sigma manometer like this, or in fact, if you have one uh, which can be self-monitored as an electronic device, and with that, you can actually record your blood pressure. These are fairly accurate devices. And if your blood pressure level is between 120 to 80, you can consider yourself to be having normal blood pressure. And if it is above 140 by 90, then you are a hypertensive individual. The risks of this hypertension associated with hypertension can be reduced by maintaining a good lifestyle. And what are these aspects of the different aspects of lifestyle that we need to attend to? A regular exercise routine, a healthy diet. We must, if any one of you are a smoker, then the first thing you should do is quit smoking. You should reduce your alcohol intake, regular blood pressure monitoring. If you are hypertensive, along with adherence to your medication, which has been prescribed by your doctor, is very important. And as I said, stress is an important aspect which needs to be managed properly so that you can reduce your blood pressure or prevent yourself from having high blood pressure. Let us take one of these lifestyle modification measures one by one. First of all, the exercise part of it. 
Exercise could be a drug-free approach to lowering your high blood pressure. Regular physical activities will make your heart stronger and as if you have a stronger heart, it can pump more easily and if it can pump more easily with lesser efforts, there is less pressure on the arteries and therefore your blood pressure is lowered. We also know that besides if you are regularly exercising, you can maintain a good body weight and in my opinion, obesity is a very important aspect which can lead to increase in the blood pressure. What exercises and how much of exercises should one do? One should aim for at least 30 minutes of aerobic exercise. Now, we don't need to know what is aerobic exercise. Exercise using large group of muscles constantly for a period of about 30 minutes at a target heart rate, which is calculated as 220 minus your age. So if you're 60 years old, your target heart rate would be around 180 beats per minute, 160 beats per minute. And if you can do this on a regular basis, more than five days in a week, your blood pressure can be reduced or you can even prevent yourself from having high blood pressure. And what are these aerobic activities? Brisk walking, jogging, swimming, cycling, rowing. But in my opinion, walking is the best form of exercises because it can be done anywhere. It can be done in your house. You can join a gym and walk on the treadmill or you could even walk in the mall, you can walk in any places. Even if you're traveling, you can go for a morning walk. So it's one exercise which can be done any and everywhere and properly and easily. Healthy diet is also important. And what does a healthy diet constitute? It constitutes a high intake of vegetables, fruits and whole grains. There are other types of diets which you can adopt like the DASH diet, which stands for dietary approaches, approaches to stop hypertension. And what does that contain? More of whole grain, fruits, vegetables, low fat dairy products, less unsaturated fats and cholesterol. And by following a DASH diet, you can actually reduce your blood pressure by about 10 to 11 millimeters of mercury. Limiting the amount of sodium in your diet is also very important. So if you are already a hypertensive, please move, remove the salt shaker on your table. But if otherwise, each, we remember that each tablespoon of salt contains 2300 milligrams of sodium. So instead of using salt, you add other spices or herbs to flavor your food. And avoid eating processed foods, especially tin foods contain a lot amount of salt because they are used as preservatives. Similarly, small items like pickles, poppers, salted biscuits also contain hidden salts, which could actually lead to increase in your blood pressure. Quitting smoking is another aspect which you can do to reduce your chances of developing blood pressure and also reducing your blood pressure if you are already a hypertensive individual. And at any age, if you quit smoking, you can have a better lifestyle or a better healthier life for the future. Regular blood pressure monitoring is very important. Generally, we see patients come to the doctor at a long interval. Only when they come to the physician, they get their blood pressure monitor checked, but it's better to have a home blood pressure monitoring equipment where you can check your blood pressure more frequently and at different times of the day. And that actually helps your doctor to make proper adjustments to your medications, also adjust the timing of the medications and thereby preventing more morbidity and mortality related to the heart diseases, brain disease, and also preventing kidney failure and blindness. Stress management is another aspect where we need to focus upon to reduce our blood pressure. Especially emotional health is very important. We should participate in activities which actually help us relax. For example, an elderly person could do some amount of gardening or he could do some reading, listening to music. For an elderly lady, she could, she could actually take uh, up some sewing work or she could do some cooking which would make her feel relaxed. Besides this, of course, exercise itself is a means to reduce your stress, meditation or spending time in a peaceful environment, praying or going to a temple may actually make you relaxed. Time and energy management are other aspects for younger individuals to help to reduce their stress levels. At last, I would like to suggest that there is nothing more precious than having a fit and healthy life. Adapting healthy lifestyle 
can help us to enjoy a long and healthy life. High blood pressure can be controlled and prevented in various ways I have already discussed. So with these, I thank you for giving me a patient hearing and I hope if you have not already measured your blood pressure, you will have it done today itself. Thank you.